with my nutrition body and I'm gonna give you guys a raw uncut uncensored video on what I eat on a day-to-day -day basis a lot of people ask me right now and there's a lot of talk about supplements and anybody that knows me knows that I'm a big proponent of eliminating or replacing processed foods and that includes supplements with whole foods so I'm just gonna show you guys with my iPhone I'm gonna walk through my fridge and some of my cupboards and just show you what I eat on a day-to-day -day basis and hopefully I don't make you guys too sick with this so let's flip this around. Let's walk into my kitchen here. And first thing I want to show you guys is my Vitamix. It's all nasty dirty because I use it every single day. Uh, I've been doing that for about five years. If you don't have one of these, sell something and buy one. It's amazing how much this will actually contribute to your health. So uh, swinging around, got a good set of sharp knives. Let's go to the refrigerator, okay? So open this up. First thing you see is water. I know bottled water is not the best. Uh, choice uh, for the environment and also because of the plastics but the good thing about bottled water is it's always there it's always ready to go and you're never gonna have to worry about hydration so you look I got some dried mint or actually some fresh mint leaves up there other spices and some uh, chicken broth and as you go down you can just kind of see a lot of these supplements I don't even urban supplements a lot of these uh, condiments I don't even use on a regular basis they're just there just in case but, um, you know, I got some maple syrup and some coffee creamer without any hydrogenated oils. Be careful with your, with your condiments. Watch out that they don't have any of the really uh, bad stuff like hydrogenated oils. Watch out for high fructose corn syrup. Try to get as pure of condiments as you can. All right, so let's look over here. Let's start at the top. Um, as you can see, I have a ton of egg whites. I've got some mushrooms right there. That's some, uh, some duck breast and some chicken breast all ready to go. Usually I have a lot more protein cooked up. Um, I need to get on that today. You look down, go down to the next shelf here. That's quinoa all ready to go. I've got lettuce back there to do lettuce wraps, beet greens. I'm gonna juice those up later. I've got some snap peas all bagged up ready to go. Carrots and some cucumbers ready to go. I'm going down, moving down here. I've got some whole beets, um, Brita filter, some water. Uh, that's the low-cal lemonade. I drink at least half a gallon of that a day, sometimes uh, a gallon of it. Uh, it's a little pink because I've added some cranberries, as you can see there to the side. Um, and I always like to add a little bit of peach to it to make it really super tasty. If you want to learn how to make that, go to my YouTube channel. It's called Size Low-Cal Lemonade. In the back there, I got a giant two and a half pound bag of spinach. I go through, my wife and I go through at least two to three of those bags, sometimes four of those bags a week. So that's one of the ways that we get a ton of nutrition in our diet. Okay, moving down here, open this up. You know, we can see we've got more uh, vegetables, some shredded carrots, some string cheese, some cinnamon apple, some ginger. Oh, uh, there's some chicken breast that needs to be cooked up. Here's one of my staples. I love apples. I've got honey crisp. Once you go honey crisp, man, it's really hard to go back. Those are my eating apples. These red ones, they're only 99 cents a pound. They're my juicing apples. So let's go down to the last little container here. Um, there's the lemons for the low-cal lemonade, sweet potatoes, stuff to make uh, salsa, cilantro, limes, jalapenos, uh, green onions. Uh, I think that's a full Blano pepper in there. Anyway, as you can see, I've worked really hard in the past decade to make my fridge, you know, almost processed food free. You can see there's just a few things over here like the creamer on the side there and and some salad dressings things like that but I worked really hard to move into eating uh, almost exclusively whole foods so here's my freezer now I've got my omega fatty mix that's also on YouTube if you want to learn how to make that flax seeds there in the back spirulina um, there on the left that's that green stuff and uh, as you move down nutritional yeast shredded coconuts uh, flakes uh, there's oats. I don't use oats too much anymore because unless I do gluten-free, they kind of like make me super gassy. I know that's hilarious, but uh, less of them right there in the back. Uh, some hemp hearts. Move down. Just more. Uh, there's my stevia for the low-cal lemonade. Frozen bananas. Um, lemon juice frozen up into cubes. Uh, what do you got? That's some, I'm not sure what that is. Peas, frozen peas. And blueberries. What is this? Fresh oats, looks like. 
sunflower seeds, raw chia seeds. Move over here. Got some hawthorn berry juice all frozen up. Uh, almonds, Brazil nuts, some BF and C formula. Get up. I've got my coffee, some sliced peaches, pineapple. So, like I said, you can see that there's it's mostly whole foods here. So let me go over and I'll just show you one of my cupboards real quick. There's my whey protein, all natural. Open up the cupboard here. Got some raw honey, some just regular cocoa powder. Got some peanut butter in the back there. Vanilla, but as you can see, look at all these spices. This is really important. These are whole spices. Watch out for like, you know, like these ones, because if you look on the back, a lot of times the ingredients, uh, they try to add MSG and stuff like that in there. So try to just get the whole spices. Got an assortment of funnels and some teas up there on the top. Let's move over here to the side. So, so really these are only three supplements I take and I don't take these all the time, but caffeine, tyrosine and carnitine. Uh, so just cat, just regular caffeine with nothing in it. Uh, super cheap. Uh, it's like drinking a cup of coffee and tyrosine and carnitine are just amino acids. Got apple cider vinegar, coconut oil. Check it out. This is one of the most powerful foods you'll ever experience. That's garlic right there and food scale. So as you can see, um, let me flip this back over. See guys, uh, always be moving towards whole foods. Start replacing your processed foods with whole foods one at a time. Uh, you want to have foods, you want to choose foods that you can actually eat for the rest of your life. You don't want to, you know, try to choke things down. If you don't like broccoli, try something else and you keep going until you find things that you can do for the rest of your life. So hope that video was very informative and we'll see you later. Welcome to the